Another tool I really enjoy in Photoshop is replace color. Sometimes it's it's good just to you know replace a color, but you can also get some cool effects. Um, here I'll give you an example. I'll do image adjustments replace color. And if I select the red of this helicopter, you'll see I select just this area. But if I hold shift and select the red, I can get a little bit more of that range in color. You can see it selects more of it out here. If I want to pick that area out there, you know, come in a little bit, get that piece. And you can adjust the fuzziness too if you want it to, you know, select a little bit more. Anyway, so now I have that. If I was to grab this hue, I can change the color of my helicopter instantly without having to really do too much. You know, you want a purple helicopter or a blue one and then I can just go ahead and click OK and my helicopter is a different color. Now you'd have to you know, take your time, fine tune it a little bit. But you know, here's a picture of these boots. Again, image, adjustments, replace color. Maybe I want these bottoms of the boots to be a, a red color. And you know, right here it's selecting the sticks also because they're about the same tone of yellow, but that's OK because we'd like it to match. All right, so I select those areas like that, and then I change the hue. Now it's an entire blue picture. The other thing is, once I get my things adjusted, I can make them brighter or lighter, like that. Now, the other thing is, I mentioned effects. For example, like this picture of this blue light bulb with a blue background. If I go to Image Adjustments, Replace Color, and I click up here and I hold shift and I'm going to select this whole range and I'm going to go all the way down into the darker color and it's fine if you get a little bit more than you wanted to and I'm going to change my hue alright so I mean you can really get some neat effects right that it changed all the colors for me alright that one's pretty easy. Let me show you this one. This is another neat one. If you go Image, Adjustments, Replace Color, and you select the background. And I would like to select maybe all these little pieces of the background, any tonal differences, um, maybe down into this range. And I'm going to go ahead and change the hue, which you can see you can change it to about any sh shade that you like. But if I drop the hue all the way over here, and I drop my saturation down, and I drop my lightness all the way down. It's a much different picture. And if I go over here and I select other areas that I want to maybe be in the, the black range, you can see how the picture is changing. All right. So really, to go from that to that, you know, it's, it's pretty interesting that you can do this. Obviously, that's overdoing it. Anyway, um, some of the pictures can be a little more complicated. Like, for example, this little girl here is in pink, but children especially have a lot more pink tones in their skin. And if trying to do an adjustment on a replaced color here, you almost always are going to get parts of the skin. So if I was to try to adjust the color of the dress, you could see that she becomes a zombie. Um, but, you know, in some cases, that might not be, you know, a bad thing, not, not the zombie thing, but you may want the picture to be more blue um, or green, or you may want to start with a different color and then, you know, run another process. All right. So anyway, actions, I mean, not actions, um, adjustments, image, adjust, replace color, select the color you're looking for here, and then just change the hue. So have fun with this one. I, I always do. Um, thanks a lot.